last time Gallant investigated Moore's house, he claims to have captured pictures of ghosts on camera. Claims of photographs showing images of ghosts date back generations. There's no country on Earth, there's no country in history where people haven't believed in ghosts and haven't had these weird experiences. Chris French is a professor and doctor of psychology at the University of London, where he researches scientific explanations of paranormal claims. French, like the majority of the scientific community, is skeptical about the paranormal. England is probably the most haunted country in the world. At least you'll get that opinion from lots of English people. Wem, England, about 270 kilometers northwest of London, is home to one of the most celebrated ghost photographs in existence. In 1995, the town hall in the small market town of Wem in England burnt down. And Tony O'Reilly was there with his camera and he took lots of shots of this very dramatic event. When he then developed the film, the pictures were all very dramatic, but one in particular stood out. There was one very spooky picture which showed in front of the Burnie building a small, ghostly girl. And he assumed, as did lots of other people, that this was, in fact, a ghost caught on camera. When people look back into the local history of the town, it was discovered that there had been a devastating fire back in 1677. And this had been started by a young girl called Jane Churn with a candle that she was carrying. And so people naturally put two and two together and assumed that the ghost that had been caught on camera must be the ghost of Jane Churn. There are lots of reasons why people might think that they are looking at a picture of a ghost, when in fact there are other explanations. There may be situations where the camera strap gets in the way of, of the shot and the flash makes it look like there's weird energy beams or it's just specks of dust that are out of focus. And of course, we can't rule out in these days of Photoshop and other software packages deliberate hoaxes. They're getting more and more difficult to spot. At the National Museum of Photography. Tony O'Reilly himself was challenged to whether he had tampered with the photograph, and he completely rejected the idea. No way. No. No, no, no way at all. In 2010, when uh, an article appeared in the local paper, the Shropshire Star, the paper had included an old postcard of the area and a sharp-eyed reader had spotted that there was a little girl in the photograph who seemed to bear an uncanny resemblance to the little girl in the ghost photo. And in fact, when you compare the two directly, you see that it's pretty clear that this is the little girl who is the Wem ghost. And it appears that someone had in fact taken the image from the postcard and superimposed that onto the photograph taken in 1995. So I've never seen a photograph that I thought that might be a real ghost, and I don't think I ever will. We know from well-controlled psychological studies that if you believe in ghosts, you are more likely to think you've experienced one, so that when something happens that you can't explain, well, maybe it was a ghost. Whereas somebody who's a non-believer will either come up with a different kind of explanation or just accept that sometimes stuff happens and you can't explain it. <laughs> 